no other large telescope in the world can move this fast. It's agile and holds a Guinness record for the largest camera lens ever built. The telescope at the Vera C. Rubin Observatory in Chile, showcasing immense details of just a small part of the night sky. This image actually shows only a small portion of one Rubin image, just about 2%. The observatory's first images, assisting astronomers in getting a better understanding of dark matter. The cutting-edge tech holds a digital camera roughly the size of a passenger vehicle, with a lens that is roughly the size of the average woman. Over the next decade, it will map the entire visible night sky every three to four days, giving scientists a better understanding of everything around us. Whenever we look at the universe in a new way, we always discover something that, that we've never thought about before. And that's what we're, we're super excited about, that completely new dimension of looking at the universe, not just through space, but also how it's changing through time. The discoveries from this observatory could be trailblazing, which is apt given the person the facility is named after. Vera Rubin was an American astronomer whose research helped unveil common understandings around dark matter. Every discovery from that telescope will have her name, and so it's really wonderful that we're actually recognizing her contributions to science. Rubin faced uphill battles throughout her career, none more evident than the Palomar Observatory in California, where in 1965 she became the first woman to use that facility and had to attach a paper skirt to a men's bathroom door because the building didn't house a women's washroom. Now, her mentees are excited about the possibilities for all astronomers at the building, that bears her name. For making it a field that was welcoming to women, making it a field that was exciting where we could always do great science and getting the next generation of scientists to share in that excitement and to be prepared to, to be the discoverers of the future. Kyle Benning, Global News.